Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, Psalm 66 begins this way. Shout for joy to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Give to him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies come cringing before you. All the earth worships you and sings praises to you. They sing praises to your name. Come and see what God has done. He is awesome in his deeds towards the children of man. Now, let me ask you this question, because this is a great psalm of praise and just telling God how wonderful he is and how blessed we are. So what is more natural for you? Is it praising God or is it pointing out problems? Is it easier for you to celebrate God's goodness or to complain about the things that you lack? What, what comes more easily to you, singing with joy or criticizing with glee? See, the psalmist praises God for his goodness and his greatness. He says the natural response to God and his greatness is to worship him. And, and a lot of times we want to protest. We want to say, but, but, but the world is such a mess. There's so many problems. We've got sickness. We've got poverty. We've got cruelty. We've got injustice. How can we praise God in the midst of this? Well, the psalmist just simply challenges, come and see what God has done. And then he goes into a, a remembrance of the Exodus event and how God delivered the Israelites out of Egypt and through the wonders and powers of, that he displayed in the plagues and the Red Sea and the miracles. He just says, remember all this. This is why you can praise God no matter what you're going through right now. Now, for us as followers of Jesus, we simply need to look to the cross. Just remember the cross. Realize that Jesus solved our sin problem on the cross. Realize that Jesus atoned for our defiance, our rebellion, our disobedience on the cross. Realize that Jesus set us free from sin and death and hell on the cross. That Realize that, that Jesus included you and me in his family as children of God whenever we confess him as Savior and Lord. And realize that Jesus empowers us through his Holy Spirit he puts in us to serve in his name. And of course, remember that ultimately Jesus has promised to prepare a place for us, for you, and take you to be with him where he is, you will always be. So thinking of all those things, thinking about the cross, thinking about the promises, thinking about the implications, it really boils down to this. How can we not praise God? How can you not praise God today? I hope and pray that that blesses you, and I hope that your mouth is full of the praises of your God.